Francisco, what was it about Peralta that was just so tough today for you guys? Um, he executed. He executed his game plan, and, and we had good pitches to hit. We just missed it. You know, my first at bat, I missed two pitches. Um, second at bat, I missed uh, I hit a home run foul, you know. So I just, just we missed the opportunity to um, get good swing off him. However, he executed, so I had to off to him. Did it just seem like one of those days that whatever you guys did, the ball just didn't seem to land where you wanted it to? Yeah, I mean, we put good swings um, on baseballs. Nemo had two great at-bats, hit the ball really hard. Um, Alvarez hit the ball really hard as well. Um, there was a couple of guys that hit the ball really hard. It's just that you don't fall. So it, it's, it's part of it, you know. Um, they they play better than us today, so hats up to them. What was your take on what happened between McNeil and Hoskins? I mean, I... I, I Going back to the play, I saw that he slid a little late. Um, he, it was one of those where it was just he slipped straight through the base, you know. And then, um, but I felt like it was a little late. Um, with that being said, the umpires didn't call it um, interference, so that's that's that, you know. It, it's just um, I wish he he slid a little earlier, you know. Um, but uh, I, and when it comes to Jeff's reaction, um, I'm with him 100, percent you know. He he has every right to act, um, to react the way he reacted, um, and I will always back him up. And yeah, it's not. Mendoza said, I believe his explanation was via the umpires that it was a legal slide because Hoskins held on to the bag. The mm -hmm. late slide is that, even if it's legal, is that frowned upon by players, by infielders? I mean, we haven't played the game like that in a while. You know, um, MLB took that away from from us for 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 a while. Um, so when plays like that do happen. Um, in the heat of the game, it looks it doesn't look good. Um, so, when it comes to, uh, like I said, the reaction in the heat of the moment, it, it's one of those where um, he's in every 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 right of, uh, of reacting the way he did. Francisco, how how good did it feel to see uh, Star and Marte have the game he did, given what he went through last year? He looked great. Yeah. He looked great. So I'm 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 happy he's. Um, able to get the barrel to baseballs. Um, I said that he looks like Marte. You know, he looks healthy, and he's. Uh, I think he's going to have a good year. Sterling, I know you've felt good about your health for a, a little while now, but you know, given the way last year went, just how nice was it to get off to this type of a start, results-wise, in day one? Okay, sabe que te has sentido bien, pero qué bien se siente para tener los resultados hoy en tu primer juego de la temporada, sí. Se siente bien, ya que el año pasado me limitó mucho y me pararon para poder ponerme ready y perfeccionar los problemas que tenía. Este año me preparé bastante en Dominicana, jugué para el de juego, me sentí bien y le agradezco a ellos por permitirme jugar. En Spin Trainer vine ready para jugar y eso es el resultado cuando uno se siente bien de su cuerpo. You know, it, feels, it feels good to be healthy um, after everything that I went through last year with with, with, with all the injuries and, and and all the problems that I had. Um, it felt really good with all the, with all the hard work that I put in the off season. I was able to play in the Dominican Winter League. Um, thank you to the team for being for being able to help me out and also giving me the permission to go play over there. But it also feels just really good to be able to come here um, since the start of spring training to feel right and to be able to have the results that I've been having. You were the only one that was able to get to Freddie Peralta today. What? Did he do so well across the board? Que tú fuiste el único que 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 tú que pudiste tener éxito en contra de Freddy Peralta. ¿Qué fue lo que él hizo también? Bueno, hay que darle mucho crédito ya que un buen pitch, esa de pichar, los comandos de pichar fue tremendo eh, y me dejó un pitch abajo donde puede puede conectarlo, te puede cogerle un turno de dos y cero, lo puede llevar tres y dos. Eh, me dejó un buen pitch y puso puso un buen swing. Eso fue lo que salió. No, you have to give credit to the pitcher right there. He's a tremendous pitcher. He's a, he's a pitcher that was able to command his pitches all all day. Um, but he was able, to, I I was able to take advantage of a pitch that he left where I, where I was able to take advantage of it and and be able to drive it there, um, in a in a two zero count. So so yeah, I was able to I was able to have some success there. At what point did you realize that the ball had cleared the wall? Because it obviously caromed off of that guardrail. At what point did you kind of know you had gotten it? En qué punto tú 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 te diste cuenta que que esa bola pasó la pared y y fue un jonrón porque él él vio que que como que vio la pared pero uno no estaba seguro. Bueno en verdad no estaba seguro ya que corrí duro hasta llegar a segunda base y cuando veo que Jelly tuvo esa reacción ahí fue que miré la pantalla y vi que fue jonrón pero en verdad la conecté duro pero no no pensé que se iba y ahí fue que me di cuenta.
Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too sure. Um, that's why when I hit it, I was I was running out of the box pretty hard. And then when I got to second, I saw uh, Yelich was re like the way that he threw the ball, in, and then I saw the I saw the umpire. Um, that's kind of when I was able to to realize that I hit a home run. And but yeah, I didn't really know I, off the bat.